More than 200 jobs could soon be coming to the Cleveland area thanks to the state kicking some money to two separate companies. The state controlling board just released more than two and a half million dollars in workforce funds. News Channel 5's John Kosick joins us now. And John, jobs are always good news. Tell us what you've learned about this. Are doing here in Northeast Ohio by providing an additional uh, million and a half dollars to Eaton Corporation to aid in the construction of their new world headquarters in Beechwood, a project that will, in the end, create 177 new jobs. The other million that'll go to assist mobility, uh, access mobility of Brexville with their improvement plans and the creation of 30 new full-time jobs there. Now, unemployment fell in Ohio last month to eight and a half percent, which is the largest one-month drop in 28 years. For those looking for work, though. A job can't come soon enough. One man we spoke with has been looking for a year in construction. If he landed something, he says, he'd hire others. Especially some of the younger men out here. Especially, you know, so we can keep some of the money in the inner city. Right. Keep them off the street. Yeah, get them off the street and teach them some trades. While well, Ohio is trending ahead of the U.S. when it comes to unemployment, the new numbers for December, though, will be out at the end of the next week. So we'll see if that trend continues. On your side, John Kasich, News Channel 5. Thank you, John. Across the country, we're getting a mixed message about the job market. U.S. employers upped their hiring in November, but they're advertising fewer jobs. The Labor Department says that means the job market has strengthened, but employers remain cautious.